Evening all, another busy day today. So this morning we had containers come in, we had a cattle buyer come in and buy some cattle, which will load tomorrow. And then the rest of the day we had the annual herd TB test over on the circle farm. I'm now bailing, it's eight o'clock at night. Guy's wrapping somewhere, so without further ado, we'll get into the video. And remember, if you enjoy it, like and subscribe. Thanks very much. Another two containers. We're in one between two. Tackers. Here we are. Getting the old cattle in for the whole herd TV test and the suckers. All Angus is out here. You probably saw in a video before about the old Charlotte bull we got. Yeah, I got running through the village and into the farm. They are fairly well trained, so hopefully, with any luck, they'll go straight on. But it's always the hardest bit getting them all out of the field, especially the calves. But not far now. Hopefully, it'll be all right. Well, that's them all out. I normally say it's the calves which are trouble, but it was an old cow. This will be our last season. Bless her. She just proved it at all. Yeah, away we go. Now we got them in, ready to run them through the crush. What joys this is going to be. Hottest day of the summer, well, so far. It's about 150 there. Cows and calves, ready to go. Yeah, the big setup, the old bales to stop it all going away. But they lovely calves. Trouble is, they're our kickers, but yeah. Lively old job. My mate Eli. Schlong in the background, Sammy J. Look, master of paperwork. Oh, he's Hey, you're going to play uh, play ball today, lads, or not? That's it now. Finally done and dusted. Hopefully, they don't go and raid the gardens a minute, but not too stressful. Only one of us got I'm kicked. Doing some bailing. Friend of guys, his baler's broken down or something, so I've just come over there. Do the last 25 acres and they're up in the bales behind me. Now the raffle was picking the bales up and every now and then picks his own bales up. But the loader does run around and feed him with bales, which I can't really figure out, but works for them. I always wanted to stack and wrap, but Guy was having none of it. He goes mental if you even suggest the idea. But yeah, all's going well. 51 bells so far. Uh, how long have I been there? Shit. Uh, I've been here about an hour and a bit. I pressed the wrong button now. Oh dear. Was it problems? Tap, tap, tap. Tap. Hopefully that's right. Oh, have we have a bell. Oh no, this is. A disaster! I should not be on the phone and bail at the same time. Oh, they're not going to like feeding out that bell. It's got two layers of net on with some feed in the middle of it. Oh, well. I think I might give them that as a free bell. How does it look? Oh, I don't think too bad. That'll be all right. They're just changing the roll. They've got a tanko wrapper. Slightly different setup to the Mikhail. Same principle. Drive along the side of the bell, flick it on. Um, but just looks a bit different. Oh, there's this bale that I double wrapped. Uh, probably can't see in the sun. It does look like I've got away with it. Boy, do I need to clean these windows. Right. Looks like we got away with it. I think that's fine. What are we doing? About 12, 15k? Yeah, these tractors are mad. You can sort of fly along at 15k, doing 12 in a minute, but you can fly along at 15. It does not feel like you're doing it whatsoever. Uh, on the New Orleans, you know about it, obviously, because you've got to change through the gears, but on a Vario, I just seem to keep pushing the stick forward, which probably isn't 
always a good thing because speed isn't always your friend. Try to make a round bell. Oh, I'm tired. It was up early this morning. We had the cattle buyer come in early. Um, and I wanted to feed the cattle before he came. So he came at half past seven on the dock. I was up quite a bit before that. Tonight shouldn't be too late. Up by seven now. Should be back home. Probably got another hour and a bit later here. Yeah. Back home by ten, all being well. Getting close up with the bells. I can't feel that man bell at the same time. But you get this, yes, it's been drowned, wraps, out drops of plastic. Loader drops another one on. Jobs are good un. This is annoying. We're about to run out of now. And I've only got three rows left. Oh well, at least next time I'll start on a fresh roll. So we've run out of net. My spare net is up there. And I've made an amateur mistake. I forgot my hoodie. Usually what I do, even in the middle of the summer, is I put my hoodie on with my hood up and then I don't get dust down the back of my neck and then spend the entire day itching, which is now what I'm going to do. And luckily I've only got an hour and 20 minutes until I get home and I can have a shower but that's going to be the itchiest hour and 20 minutes of my life this year Sage. right I'll get in change in a minute fashion icon top button done up like all the American geezers this is the hard bit done is put that roll on there which is incredibly heavy and hard to do on a hill um, and then we have a little diagram here basically this is your roller net thread it over the top roller then down to the bottom roller not the support bar up to that top roller underneath the support bar roller thing on top of there underneath the cover down there hang it loose should sort itself out in practice, what that looks like is on top of this bar here. Yeah, that is right. Under that one, around this roller bar, not that bar. That bar is a safety bar to stop any material catching this roller bar. Up the other side, onto this bar, which isn't a roller bar, but this one is. So then go underneath this roller bar, and then you'll see, well, can't really see in there. 
Yes, there you go. Then you'll see a curtain. Go underneath said curtain. Hang down here, in line with the tabs roughly. And hey presto, she and should go. True, Bader's on tick over. Press that button. Go on. Roll. Roll. No, didn't like it that time. Go again. Go on. Yes. Jump out, have a quick look. There you go, there's your bell. Make sure it's got the right number of layers on. One. One. Two, three, there you go, three and a bit. That's good enough bail. Sun's going down, let's get on. I think this is something we're all guilty of when we get on and we want to go home. Just pull out the right foot and scroll the cruise control up. 17, 17.9, somewhere around there. She'll take it. Day long. All day long. Job done, 127 bells done. 2.8 hours. That's around 45 an hour. Happy with that. Home time.